Hey guys, it's Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new modeling video. Alright guys, well today we're going to do a request and this one will be a fairly basic but nevertheless it will cover the method of UV mapping, texturing and so forth in Maya. And I'm not going to do Keyshot this time because, you know, I've been asked not to. So uh, that's what we're going to do and what we're going to model is the model Billy uh, bookcase from Ikea. Okay, so just a little reference image so you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go to a view. Come on, the system is lagging a bit for some reason. Import image and I got loads of stuff on my desktop. There you go. So that's what we're going to go for, right? Now it's nothing special, but just so we have a reference, right? Now what we're going to do is the top and then all the horizontal shelves will be pretty much identical. So we're going to start with that. We'll take a uh, polygon cube, hit W to pull that out. We're going to hit R to scale it down. So push that way in and then pull that out a little bit like so. And then we're going to push it in in this direction until we have something that meets our needs. Okay. Now, considering I don't want to UV map all the individual shells, I'm just going to start with this one. Okay. So I'm going to go up to UV. We're going to go to the uh, automatic projection in this case. Okay. Then we're going to go back into UV and UV editor and we'll see what we got. Okay, now we've got a bunch of squares going on here, and I'll just kind of move things around so we can see everything okay. And we kind of need to decide where we want to have our seam in our texture. So if we hover our mouse over our model, we can see, okay, that's the top here, this one. All right, we'll hit W, we'll bring that down. And what we'll do from here is we'll start to find the connecting faces, okay? So I want to have the front right there. So I'm going to right click and go to face. That's that one. Okay. So we're going to take that. We're going to move that over and let's see what connects to what. So we're going to right click at an edge and I'm looking for the one that's combined with that one. Okay. So that's this. I'm going to go up to uh, move and sew edges and these two are now connected. So if I right click and go to shell, there you go. Right. Now that's the most important part because the seam on the bottom, we're not really going to see that. We're not going to see the sides and we're not going to see the back, but just to complete this. Okay. If I right click and go to face, I know that that's my top. So I'm going to right click, go to edge, take that one and go into move and sew. I'll take that one, hit G to repeat last command. And then let's see at the back, we'll take that. And at the back, we'll take that. All right, pretty basic. Okay, so let's uh, right click, go to shell, select the whole thing, and go up to polygons and select layout. So it'll be positioned in my zero to one space. Okay, let's just uh, minimize that. And what we can do next is we're gonna right click at object mode, select it, and then right click assign new material. And we will select a Lambert because we don't want this to be too reflective. We're going to go next to our color tab here, hit our checkered box. And what I want is a file to select. And again, <clears throat> like I said, my system is lagging a bit. I've been doing a lot of calculations, so uh, hopefully that works out. Okay, so file, I'm going to click on my folder. And on my desktop, I am going to find uh, wood, 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 wood. Let's see, where is it? Let's see if that's the one that I want. Not really. Not really. Uh, let's see. Just give me a sec, guys. <clears throat> okay, so I want to use this one, all right? So we're going to hit OK. I'm going to go in and select my checkered uh, ball up here. And let's see how that turned out for us. Okay. Now I'm going to select this. I'm going to go up to UV and UV editor. 
that still looks okay not quite sure if this texture um, you know it looks a bit grainy but we'll see how that turns out okay so let's bring that back in there we go now we have a number of shells we got the top so that's one two three four five six and on the bottom is seven all right so we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate that we're gonna hit W to move that up until we have the spacing that kind of fits one shelf size okay so that's two and then we're gonna hit shift D to repeat that so that's three four five six seven eight okay and let me see yeah one two three four five six one two three four five that's actually seven okay sorry all right let's delete that now for our sides it's pretty easy we can take one of these guys we're gonna hit control D to duplicate E to rotate and hold down J as we rotate it and snap it like so to 90 degrees and then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move that over and from our top view we're gonna have a look hit F to zoom in and four for wireframe mode so we can see whether it's aligned okay now it is all right and then from there we need to position it in a way that it fits so what we're going to do there is let's see we'll have a look from this view have to zoom in four for wireframe mode let's bring that down a bit more until we're okay at the top and then we're going to right click and go to vertex drag select these two and we're going to bring that down and keep in mind that there's a little space below the last one so we need to bring it down a bit more okay so what do i mean by that well we're not quite there yet apparently so we've got this little space down here as you can see in our example we've got this little board going on there so we want that here as well that should be about right and then we're going to right click get object mode we're going to hit control D to duplicate that W to move that over and then we're going to check that again from our top view like so all right so now all we need is a back panel and we need one section for the front there so for the front section I'm going to take this guy control D to duplicate E to rotate hold down J once again to snap to 90 degrees we're gonna hit W to move that forward but not all the way and then we're gonna move in from this view hit 4 for wireframe mode hit F to zoom in and I'll just take my original image click on that hit control H to hide it so we can kind of see what's going on there so this guy needs to be level with the floor obviously and then up here we're gonna right click at a vertex drag select these and we're gonna bring that down like so so let's have a look here as you can see we need to take it down a bit more so let's do that all right so that looks okay and then what we need to do is create a panel for the back so we'll take another polygon cube we'll hit R to scale it out and then push it in and make it nice and thin and now we need to kind of fit that into the back there so roughly bring it into place and then we'll have a look from this view okay so let's kind of align it at one end okay we're gonna right click at a vertex drag select these two and bring them in all right then we're gonna go down to the bottom we're gonna take these two 
and we're going to bring that down. And then we're going to deal with the thickness because it's way too thick, obviously. So right click object mode, hit R and scale that in until it's very thin. And then hit W, bring it in and check from this view to make sure that there are no gaps. All right. So that's our bookshelf going on there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy. We're going to go up to UV and automatic projection. And then UV and UV editor. We'll move this over so we can kind of see what's going on. All right, so I'm going to right click, go to shell. Hang on, yeah. Right click, go to shell. Let's see what we got. I want my back panel. Which one is that? Okay, that's that one. I'm going to W, I'm going to move that over here, and then I'm going to start to connect. So right click edge, I'll take that one and go to move and sew. Take that one, hit G to repeat, that one, G to repeat, that one, G to repeat, and one over there, G to repeat. Okay, so right click shell, I'm going to go to polygon and layout. And as I want to have one UV layout for the whole thing, I'm going to right click and go to object mode. I'm going to drag select everything. And then I'm going to go to layout. Okay. So everything is now laid out in one zero to one UV space. Just in case I want to uh, export the snapshot because I want to add detail in Photoshop or whatnot. So that looks all all right. Now I need to apply a different wood texture. Okay, so I'm gonna right click, assign a material, another Lambert. Oh, looks like I got the whole thing selected. That's not what I wanted. Right click, assign a material, Lambert. Check it box, file, folder. And now I'm gonna take a birch texture. Let's open that. And the only thing I want to do with is the fact that the direction of the wood is not what I want. So I'm going to go to UV editor and let's scale this up a bit. You can see that the, um, the texture is a bit vague. So we're just going to scale that up and go to layout and then hit E to rotate and hold down J as we rotate that around okay that makes our wood look much much nicer like so and much more realistic okay so that's pretty much all there's to it we're gonna create a floor so let's just take a polygon plane. We'll hit R to scale that out. We don't really need all that subdivision. So let's set that to one by one. That's fine. And what we'll do is we'll create some light. So I'll go to create lights and point light. And W to pull that up and pull that out. Hit seven on your keyboard to kind of activate the light that you just created, just to give us a sense of what that would look like. Oh, it looks like we have a little section of our closet there. Right click object mode. Let's make sure that we have the floor sitting correctly. Like so. All right. Okay, now as most of you know, I am a pretty big Keyshot fan, all right? So what I'll do here is I'll go in and uh, save scene as, and I'll just call this Billy1. So all of you who do not have a uh, Keyshot can, you know, complete the whole process in Maya. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to export it into Maya. 
a key shot, sorry, and texture it there, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of the floor, and then what I'll do is I'll take the back panel, I'll right click assign new material, I'll do a Lambert, and then we'll just do yellow or whatnot. And then I'm gonna select pretty much everything else. That should be that, yeah. I think I got everything and that thing as well. And we're gonna right click assign new material, Lambert, and give that a different color, okay? So now that we have the whole thing, and I'm gonna hit six to kind of deactivate that light there. Come on. I'm gonna drag select the whole thing. I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type history, and modify freeze transformation. There we go. And then I'm gonna go up to file, export selection, and I'll save that out as an FBX. So I'll call it Billy FBX, there we go. Save it on my desktop. And then I'll just uh, pause the video for a sec, jump over to Keyshot and see you guys there. Okay guys, here we are. I'm gonna go up to File, Import, and on my desktop, here's our Billy FBX. I'll use the default and wait until it's imported, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna add some uh, wood texture here. So I'm gonna go into material. I'm gonna scroll down to wood. We're gonna use traditional. And let's use soft maple for the back there. Bring that in. And then let's have a look and see what it looks like, okay? So as far as the direction is concerned, I'm not quite sure whether I like it this way or more vertical. So I'm just gonna go to my material tab. I'm gonna double click on my material and uh, go to texture, mapping tool, and I'm gonna turn off translate and skill. I'm gonna leave rotate on. And let's just rotate this direction and maybe even a little bit like so, I think that's kind of nice. Okay, then I'm gonna turn off rotate and turn on skill and kind of see if we can make that look a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I like that much better. Okay, cool. All right, and then for our red wood, if you will, uh, let's see, we'll do, I don't know, I think cherry wood would be a bit expensive Let's try, oh, well, why not? Well, let's just do the, uh, the cherry wood. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. Well, the thing is, I usually do cherry wood, so I'm trying to uh, find something else. Let's see if we've got anything cool here. No, we'll do this. Black walnut, why not? Okay, so let's have a look. Now, I'm not happy with the wood direction at all. So uh, what I'll do there is I will um, double click on my material. I'm gonna go to my texture tab, to my mapping tool. I'm gonna select rotate. Just make sure I got the right thing going on there. Yeah, that looks much, much better. Pretty cool, actually. And now to make it pop, let's get some nice lighting, okay? So what we're gonna do there, and yeah, to be honest, it looks a bit dark, guys, but okay, we're gonna go to backgrounds. I'm gonna select a white solid. Let's play with the, um, the lighting and see whether or not we need to change the color of the wood, okay? Because it's, it's a bit dark. So let's try this conference room lighting. It already makes it pop a lot more, but I'm already at a stage that I probably would like to choose wood that's a bit lighter than that. We'll go with uh, the conference for now. We'll jump back over to material, 
and let's try soft maple oh, that's actually it's pretty close to what you would see as far as color is concerned from an IKEA cabinet let's look at the wood direction all right so let's uh, rotate that Uh, let me see here. Kind of lost my chain of thought here because I was still looking at the wood. I don't like that. Let's try this. Nope, that's not good at all. So I'm really going to go with cherry wood, looks like. Yeah. Can't help it, guys. I just like it. All right, so we got that. All right, cool. So we got that. Now let's look at our lighting once more. And I can see if I can use overhead panel lighting and see if that looks better or not not really no so let's go with our interior all right so now that we have that uh, what I'll do is I'll render it out okay so we're gonna go to lighting and we'll go with full simulation and then we'll go back into lighting and we'll turn off caustics and let's go into render hit render we'll call this lily one i'm going to save it on my desktop and set preset to 128720 and 300 dpi okay now to be honest and i know you're gonna hate me for it i'm not happy with the wood so that's just how it goes when you're working on something let's see what else we got here it's all trial and error and you know we're just trying out some stuff here i'm actually even thinking of well yeah I'll, we'll go with this okay all right so render render we got all this stuff set up here i'm going to pause the video hit render and see you guys when it's done okay see you in a bit okay guys well there you have it there is our uh billy uh, cupboard bookshelf closet whatever it's called and uh, hopefully it helps uh, those of you who are fairly new to Maya how to uh, get started with the modeling, uh, texturing, and so forth. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you if I can. And that said, see you guys next time, guys. Bye.